number one source for the sports gamer. It is Seth from Sports Gamers Online here. And remember, if you guys want to see more mobile content, go check out the Mobile Master YouTube channel or stay right here for more mobile content. Now, about a week ago or so, EA has released a kind of a new version of NBA Live Mobile. Basically, what this is, is it is... It is kind of like the Madden Mobile reset, but they didn't reset the, uh, the lineups and anything. They just kind of redid the whole um, interface of how it looks, I guess. Um, so basically, they got a kind of cool red and black scheme going now. Um, this is going to be kind of an overview of what that update was and how it changed the game. So basically, um, basically what they have here now is they have these objectives. I haven't, I haven't actually done any. Um, basically, they reset. Uh, every like certain amount of time for some reset every uh, like I think it's a day and some are weekly um, yeah as it actually says here some are daily and some are weekly um, and basically these objectives will give you little little things um, that you want like these rookie will give you I think draft picks you can see right in the upper right corner it'll say how much uh, how many draft picks the, each thing gives you and um, different objectives basically give you different little packs or um, rewards so um, that's a kind of new thing that I think is cool because that's not Mad Mobile objectives. Um, also, they kind of have a timer on uh, promos. I'm not sure if they're going to do that for every promo, but they've got a timer for how long promos are going to be out. Um, basically, everything is basically the same. Um, you got this little uh, this little achievements uh, thing down here. Um, so instead of having it like either in the upper right corner or at the upper left when you open the sidebar like in Mad Mobile. It's down here, and it shows you where all your achievements are. Um, but another kind of thing that's usually different with Madden Mobile in when there's a, a reset um, is the sets. Uh, they basically kept the sets the same. Um, of course, they added a promo, rookies promo, and NBA Live Mobile is getting better at adding more and more promos into the game um, than they did at the start. Also, they've got some different upgrades than Madden Mobile, like a starter pack or an actual premium pack set, which is kind of cool. I think they're they're pretty hard to get, but it's cool. Um, and uh, they actually, since the game hasn't been out for a super long time, like Mad Mobile has, they actually didn't reset anyone's rosters. And uh, for this promo, for a week more now, they're actually going to have you a rookie lineup. And that would be cool if for every promo you actually got a lineup for that certain promo. That would be really cool uh, that you don't have in Mad Mobile. Um, but finally, getting into, I would say, is the biggest difference um, of the update is basically the gameplay. So, um, Let's jump right into the seasons. Uh, basically, if you can complete a, se a season game, you will get little uh, rewards or little packs, um, which I think is kind of cool if you beat a season game with a certain lineup. Now, the biggest uh, kind of improvements that they've made uh, in this update is, um, is gameplay. So let's just jump right into that. Um, so basically, uh, they, uh, the gameplay changes that, may that they made, I think, made the game run so much smoother and... Um, even though I, uh, I don't really uh, like how long the live events are and stuff like that because it gets really strenuous grinding live events in NBA Mobile, which would be nice to have them change that. Um, the gameplay has been changed to be, I think, much more fun. Um, it's way smoother. It's like the dribbling is much nicer. And um, other like kind of enhancements that they made is they, they called it drive enhancements. Um, it's what they made. So basically, uh, it's... Um, Basically, dribbling is smoother. Um, you can alley-oop now, which I think is super cool. Um, there's a failed alley-oop. And uh, if you like fail a pass or an alley-oop or you get a steal or, or a, get blocked or something like that, and then uh, it'll basically tell you either what you did wrong or like how low uh, your steal rating is or how high the other person's block rating is and stuff like that. So it'll give you the ratings or uh, tell you kind of what went wrong. Which is another thing that I think is cool. So here, I'll, I'll kind of miss a three for you guys here. Um, and it says that I was out of range because uh, I basically he can't shoot that far. Um, so yeah, there's another cool kind of uh, update that they added. Um, but again, overall, it just the game runs much smoother. I think. Um, yeah, it's just it's much nicer. Uh, some improvements I would like to see is probably more fouls. So like free throws. Stuff like that, uh, backcourt violation, um, like over and back kind of stuff, as well as the eight second, eight second rule. Um, it is eight seconds, right? Um, anyways, <laughs> yeah, eight second rule, uh, backcourt violation would be nice to see. Uh, it is nice that you can't really um, 
go down and shoot threes as much anymore. Um, they just made the gameplay more real, I think, and that's that's kind of the biggest update that I made, and I think they did it well. Um, but now they just gotta start adding fouls, and that'd be a, it'd be a pretty nice game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, um, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel um, or the Mobile Master YouTube channel for more mobile content. So thank you guys for watching, and see ya.